For weeks, tensions had been escalating along the Israel-Lebanon border. Hezbollah, the Iranian-backed militia, had been steadily increasing its military activities. Their aggression reached a fever pitch in the days leading up to the Israeli strike. Hezbollah was amassing troops and weaponry at an alarming rate, a clear indication that an attack on Israeli soil was imminent. Israel, having witnessed Hezbollah's growing capabilities and emboldened posture, was left with a stark choice. Wait for a devastating attack or take decisive action to neutralize the threat. Hezbollah, emboldened by its Iranian patrons had grown increasingly brazen in its provocations. The group had long vowed to destroy Israel, and its actions suggested that it was moving closer to making good on that threat. The Israeli government, recognizing the gravity of the situation, made the difficult decision to launch a preemptive strike. This was not a decision taken lightly. Israel, well aware of the potential for civilian casualties and regional instability, knew that such a strike would have far-reaching consequences. In the shadowy world of intelligence gathering, where information is power and secrets can determine the fate of nations, Israel had scored a major victory. For months, Israeli intelligence agencies had been meticulously tracking Hezbollah's movements. They had infiltrated the organization's networks, intercepted communications, and pieced together a detailed picture of Hezbollah's plans. The intelligence was clear, Hezbollah was preparing for a massive attack on Israel, one that could dwarf anything seen in previous conflicts. This intelligence, gathered through a combination of human assets, technological prowess, and relentless analysis, proved invaluable. It provided Israel with the critical advantage of time, allowing its military planners to prepare a targeted and effective response. The intelligence also revealed the extent of Hezbollah's arsenal, which included advanced rockets, missiles, and drones supplied by Iran. Armed with this knowledge, Israel could no longer afford to wait. The element of surprise was crucial. In the early hours, as the world slept, Israeli fighter jets roared into the night sky, their mission to cripple Hezbollah's military infrastructure and disrupt its attack plans. The operation, meticulously planned and executed with surgical precision, caught Hezbollah off guard. Guided by real-time intelligence, Israeli warplanes struck multiple targets across Lebanon, including weapons depots, command centers, and training camps. The strikes were swift and devastating, a testament to the skill and training of the Israeli Air Force. The element of surprise was crucial. Hezbollah, accustomed to dictating the terms of engagement, found itself on the defensive. Its leadership, caught off guard, scrambled to assess the damage and regroup. The preemptive strike, a bold gamble by Israel, had paid off at least in the short term. It had bought Israel valuable time and disrupted Hezbollah's timetable. But the conflict was far from over. Hezbollah, true to its nature, would surely retaliate. As dawn broke, the extent of the Israeli strikes became apparent. Plumes of smoke rose from the wreckage of Hezbollah facilities. The Israeli military announced significant damage to Hezbollah's capabilities. Aerial footage showed the destruction of key targets. Israel's message was clear, it would defend itself, even deep inside Lebanon. The initial assessment was that the strike had been a success. Hezbollah's operational capacity had been degraded, however the long-term impact remained to be seen. Section 5. The Price of Aggression, Hezbollah's Losses and Setbacks The preemptive strike had dealt a serious blow to Hezbollah's military capabilities. The group's weapon stockpiles, painstakingly amassed over years, had been targeted and destroyed. Key command and control centers essential for coordinating attacks lay in ruins. The casualties inflicted on Hezbollah fighters, while not officially disclosed, were believed to be substantial. The group, known for its tight secrecy, was unusually quiet in the aftermath of the strike, a testament to the effectiveness of the Israeli operation. Beyond the physical damage, the preemptive strike had also dealt a blow to Hezbollah's morale, the group, accustomed to operating with impunity, had been caught off guard and outmaneuvered. The element of surprise so crucial in warfare had been Israel's to exploit. Hezbollah's leadership, now facing questions about its preparedness and ability to protect its assets, would need to reassess its strategy. The strike had exposed vulnerabilities, forcing the group to rethink its tactics and its very survival. Section 6. A Clear Message Deterrence and the Language of Force 
The preemptive strike was more than just a tactical victory, it was a strategic message. It sent a clear signal to Hezbollah. Israel would not tolerate threats to its security. The days of Hezbollah launching attacks with impunity were over. Israel was drawing a line in the sand. The message was also for Hezbollah's patron, Iran. Iran could no longer assume its proxy would operate without consequences. The strike was a calculated gamble in a complex geopolitical chess game. Israel was betting that the costs of further aggression would outweigh any benefits for Hezbollah. The goal was deterrence, to convince Hezbollah and its backers that attacking Israel was too costly. Section 7. The Iranian Shadow Tehran's Role in the Conflict Looming large over the conflict was the shadow of Iran, Hezbollah's main benefactor and a sworn enemy of Israel. Tehran had provided Hezbollah with weapons, training and funding, transforming the group into a formidable fighting force. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps played a key role in bolstering Hezbollah's capabilities. The preemptive strike was a message to Tehran and Hezbollah. Israel would hold Iran accountable for its proxy's actions. The strike put Iran in a difficult position. A direct confrontation with Israel carried enormous risks. Iran's leaders had to weigh their options carefully. Would they escalate the conflict, risking a wider regional war or exercise restraint at least for now? Section 8. Beyond the Battlefield – International Response and Diplomacy The preemptive strike sent shockwaves through the international community, drawing condemnation from some and cautious support from others. The United Nations Security Council convened an emergency meeting, but as usual, failed to reach a consensus. The United States, Israel's staunchest ally, expressed unwavering support for Israel's right to defend itself. European nations, while urging restraint, acknowledged Israel's security concerns. Russia, with its own interests in the region, called for de-escalation but stopped short of condemning the strike. The international community, deeply divided and often paralyzed by internal politics, struggled to find a unified response. Some nations called for a ceasefire and a return to negotiations, while others emphasized the need to address the root causes of the conflict. The preemptive strike, while intended to deter further aggression, had also complicated the already fragile diplomatic landscape. The path to a lasting peace seemed more elusive than ever. Section 9. Life Under Fire – The Human Cost of the Conflict Lost in the geopolitical calculations and military strategizing was the human cost of the conflict. On both sides of the border, ordinary people bore the brunt of the violence. In northern Israel, communities lived in fear of Hezbollah rocket attacks, their lives disrupted by the constant threat of violence. Schools were closed, businesses shuttered, and families huddled in bomb shelters, their lives on hold. The psychological toll of living under such conditions was immeasurable. In Lebanon, the situation was even more dire. The preemptive strike had caused civilian casualties and widespread damage to infrastructure. Homes, hospitals and schools lay in ruins, adding to the suffering of a population already grappling with a severe economic crisis. The conflict had exacerbated existing tensions, deepening sectarian divisions and fueling resentment. The human cost of the conflict was a stark reminder of the failure of diplomacy and the urgent need for a peaceful resolution. Section 10. An Uncertain Future – The Long Road to Peace and Stability The preemptive strike had created a new reality in the region, one fraught with uncertainty and danger. The immediate threat of a large-scale Hezbollah attack had been neutralized, but the underlying tensions that fueled the conflict remained unresolved. The path to a lasting peace seemed as distant as ever. Israel, while determined to defend itself, knew that military might alone could not bring security. Hezbollah, despite its losses, retained the capability to strike back. The international community, despite its limitations, had a crucial role to play in facilitating dialogue and promoting a peaceful resolution. The alternative, a wider regional conflict with devastating consequences, was simply unthinkable. The road to peace would be long and arduous, requiring compromise, reconciliation, and a shared commitment to building a better future for all. Section 11. The New Reality – Shifting Sands in the Middle East The preemptive strike was a watershed moment, a stark reminder of the volatility and unpredictability of the Middle East. It highlighted the shifting balance of power in the region, where old alliances were fraying and new ones were emerging. The rise of Iran, with its nuclear ambitions and regional aspirations, 
posed a significant challenge to Israel and its allies. The Arab Spring, which had promised so much, had ushered in an era of instability and uncertainty. The preemptive strike was a symptom of a deeper malaise, a reflection of the deep-seated mistrust and animosity that plagued the region. Resolving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the root cause of so much instability, remained as elusive as ever. The international community, faced with a multitude of crises and competing priorities, seemed unable or 